Welcome back, Welcome ladies back. and gentlemen. Welcome oh, back. Sorry. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to WGLNA Season 2 Qualifier Number 1. Finals are over. Cazadores is going to be our team. Gritorp. How excited are you? So excited. <laughs> so excited. I'm going to defer my excitement to Rukil. Yeah. That's the face he makes. That's the face he makes. That's right. <laughs> Rukil. Uh, it was some really cool stuff going out from the Casadores. Mm -hmm. How did you rate them? Uh, just, just arbitrarily, how did you rate them relative to how they were in season one? I thought they were much better. I feel like this is give a me, really give marked me a, improvement. Give me a number. A number? Take it I, out of your butt. Okay. Take, take it a number out of my butt. Two to one. <laughs> There's there, a two there, and a one uh, on there. So two I'm times be like, better. Two times better two than last one. season. Wow. Yeah. Do you think this is going to be enough to put them into playoff contention, top eight? They could. Top I mean, four? If, if they keep improving at this rate, I feel like they'd be a good team, one of our top well, you have eight. To be they careful might... because that's what I said about you know my swimming. Yeah. I was like, oh, I improved by 12 seconds this meet. Oh, if yeah. I keep this up, <laughs> I'll be world class by two months then. Yeah. <laughs> so I I understand. Maybe they maybe the momentum could slow down, but the way they've improved. Yeah. I think puts them in a place to really contend in the next season. Do you think Casadores could have taken out any of the teams in the top eight from season one? I'm not sure about that. I feel like they would have competed. It would have been much better than what we saw last season. Okay. Last season, they lost a lot of momentum after losing to some very good teams early on. I th yeah, they lost to, was it Fulcrum they were against? They were in the Fulcrum bracket? Wow. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> I know. We'll go with uh, yes. No, I actually want to say no. Okay, uh, if it wasn't Fulcrum, it was Simp. There were a lot of teams I saw. A lot bracket. of the bottom bracket teams our last season lost to very good teams, I felt like, early on, like Simp and Fulcrum, and then they, they oh, lost. They're in the Fulcrum bracket. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, f I think they fought Fulcrum very early on, and when they did that, it was... Fulcrum is a very good team, and you can't expect to win against Fulcrum most of the time. Most of these teams can't. They're not as experienced. Fulcrum has had overseas tournament experience kind of level, whereas most of these teams had barely been to a live event. And when, with that kind of experience behind them, you can't expect to win. It's just expect to maybe bring one or two battles off them and, and take that as your own victory. So as Casadores, I felt like they lost all of that, that style that they had, that momentum and that, that energy after losing very early on, and they couldn't come back. So with this season, I feel like they something they did got them some momentum and, and gotcha. some energy, and they feel much better, along with some marked improvement in overall play. Yep. Yeah, it looked good, Clutch, and uh, I'm real really good. excited. You know, Kufo must be really excited. Yeah, oh man. And what's cool about it, we actually have an interview set up with him right now. Kufo, como estas? I'm oh, not able to hear him yet over Skype. I'm sure he's there. I, I hear fuzz. Kufo. It must be Kufo. Hola. 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 Que ¿Qué tal? Que tal? Muy contento acá. <laughs> he's, really, he's really happy. He's really happy. So this is how we're going to do it. Uh, Kufo, ellos uh, van a hablar en inglés. Voy a traducir para ti. ¿Está bien? Okay, no problem. Okay. okay. So, uh, gentlemen, if you have some questions in English, go ahead and ask them. I'll translate to them in Spanish. And then I will get Kufo's answer. In my limited Spanish, I'll do my best to translate okay. what he says. So, Randall, do you have any questions? Yeah, I, I actually want to start this off because they just won Himmelsdorf. I wanted to ask uh, Kufo, those shots from Hill, were you expecting that kind of, those shots from the Hill? Uh, in tu posición in Himmelsdorf, uh, están Hill, uh, Hill, <laughs> in English, Hill. Um, <laughs> es, sí, estaba, sí. estaba como... Uh, Expectando or uh, in tu position cuando están uh, el sí, sí. enemy equipo están en el alley. <coughs> in eh, nosotros estábamos esperando que hicieran un movimiento de, de captura y estábamos esperando que entraran por línea 3 o por línea D. Estábamos esperando, pero no estábamos seguros aún. Justo se dio que eh, un compañero, el otro a eh, 50-100, eh, espoteó y justo estábamos ahí y aprovechamos la oportunidad. Fue muy bueno. Ese, en parte era parte de la estrategia pero también fue un poco de, de suerte se puede decir bueno um, from what I could understand because it's kind of hard to hear him too over Skype is that they went up there and they were expecting a couple tanks maybe three or four of the tanks but they were 
in a good position to be flexible of where they were. Huh. And once they saw those shots ring out, they knew to unload there, and it was very beneficial for them. Yeah. That, was, that was so awesome yeah. to watch yeah. that. That was delicious. You know, Kufo, um, we, we saw you guys in the first qualifiers. You played very well. And then you went to the group stages, and I would say you didn't perform to uh, our expectations. I'm sure you guys didn't perform to your expectations. But now you're over here in qualifier number two. You played really, really well. Very convincing series all the way through. What is the difference? Is it your opponents? Is it Casadores? You guys are just a lot better. Tell me in your words, what is that factor that changed uh, changed things and, and brought you into season two of WGLNA. Uh, bueno, Kufo, in season one de WGLNA, uh, in los qualifier, qualificadores, estaba jugando bien, pero en los group stages, mm, hay un poco difícil a los otros uh, equipos. Ahora, si, si se cambian algunas cosas, cual, cuáles cosas en su equipo que se cambian para estar uh, para ser mejor ahora y para uh, estar mejor en la futura um, contra de otros equipos como Fulcrum, como otros. Eh, eh, lo que pasó en la Season 1 eh, fue que teníamos muchas ganas y queríamos mostrar un estilo y quizás eh, las primeras derrotas nos dolieron mucho y cambiamos ese estilo en medio del, del campeonato y fuimos, fuimos poco consistentes. Ahora lo que nos propusimos es mantener ese estilo de juego, estilo de juego de cazadores, eh, creativo, eh, agresivo, a veces no tan agresivo, pero algo que... creatividad es lo esencial. Y ahora queremos mantener eso, pero siendo consistente. O sea, eh, ganarle a muy buen equipo y también ganarle a, o sea, poder ganarle a todos los equipos y no tener derrotas, eh, se puede decir, tontas. O sea, ser consistente es lo que ahora nos proponemos, creativo y consistente. Bueno, um, so you know, they were confident, they were timid coming into season one, and that showed in the group stage play. But now they're planning to be more consistent. They're con they want to be more consistent with the type play that they have, obviously, for the results, but also they've been training on how to capture better, how to position better. And th he feels he has a much stronger team, a much better team this time around, and he's gonna, uh, we're going to see more consistent results from them. Gotcha. Uh, in season one, Kufa was resoundingly the best scout and active scout player, light tank driver in all of WGLNA season one. Um, we didn't get a chance to, you know, actually have you up on stage at the finals or even have you there because you didn't qualify for the top eight. But uh, what do you have to say uh, now that you have a, a stage to actually talk about it? What do you have to say about your win and your resounding win as the best light tank driver in WGLNA? Uh, por los uh, finales en Las Vegas, usted que reciba um, un award para ser el mejor uh, light tank eh, para WGLNA. Pero no, usted no estaba en Las Vegas porque tu equipo no estaba. Pero ahora si tiene un, uh, un momento uh, a decir a nosotros, a hablar a nosotros, tu, uh, tu emoción, emociones um, acerca de to award a ser el mejor light tanker. Bueno, eh, o sea, para mí es un honor que me hayan nominado como el mejor eh, jugador de scout de la liga, pero también quiero recordar que eh, uno no juega solo, o sea, uno juega en un equipo y el equipo es el que te permite que tu trabajo se, se aproveche. O sea, yo agradezco mucho a mis compañeros de equipo porque ellos entienden mucho eh, la forma de jugar eh, de los scouts y yo realmente soy un jugador base, base de scout, ¿sabes? Me encanta jugar con los scouts y muchas de las estrategias que planteamos se basa en tener, un, en tener en cuenta mucho los principios de los scouts, o sea, tener movilidad, eh, eh, tener un buen espoteo, eh, etc. <laughs> bueno, bueno. Um, so, listen, he's, he's, he's very appreciative, he's very blessed because of having this, but it's also because of his team, right? A team needs a really good scout. And with a really good scout, that's how you have a really good team. So he couldn't have done it without his team. And if his team, uh, you know, were potatoes, he couldn't really do it. Um, <laughs> but also, but also, it, it takes a certain craft and a certain way to execute the way he does because of his team. So he, he says thank you very much, and he thanks all of us. But, uh, of course, he couldn't do it without his team. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you in Season 2, Kufa. And thank you so much for participating yet again. It's going to be awesome to, uh, to watch you and your team play. 
Yeah, estamos uh, bien agradecidos y uh, orgullosos. Uh, usted, uh, no orgulloso, um, pride. ¿Cómo se dice pride? ¿Cómo se dice pride? Orgulloso. orgulloso. Bueno, orgulloso. Estamos bien uh, orgullosos. He knows English yeah. this whole time. I know, he's just, I know. He's just trolling uh, you para, the whole time. Let's, he's like, let's see if this gringo can it's hablar español. It's helping me. It's helping me. Pero uh, estamos bien agradecidos y uh, para ustedes a estar en Season 2. Um, ustedes pueden jugar este juego en una manera que siempre estamos uh, mirando in surprises, we're always surprised. Uh, uh, a ver tu estradio y uh, tu execu ex execución. Ejecución. Yeah. Execución, gracias. En los, <laughs> uh, los diferentes mapas. Entonces, uh, felicidades. I'll try to gracias. say. Uh, right. Me encantado de ver tu equipo jugando en WGLNA. No. Season 2 qualifiers. Yeah, was bien. Wow, un, good. Un placer good jugar y, y que ustedes nos vean. Eso es lo esencial. A nosotros nos encanta jugar y jugar bien. O sea, mostrar espectáculo. Eso nos gusta. It's a pleasure to be here. They love to play. And uh, it's great. Kufo, thank you so much. Gracias. Uh, vamos a verte uh, en tres, tres semanas, en octubre. Sí, sí. All right. Bueno. Bien fortuna. Chao, chao. All right, ciao. 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 Wow. <laughs> I got to brush up my Spanish more. Thanks for you guys' patience, so that's why they bring me out here. Anyways, congratulations to Cazadores. And he actually doesn't know Spanish. That was all acting. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I do. I just, uh, I'm also learning Korean, so I'm like having yeah. Korean words flying my mind, too. I'm like, ah, oh, no, that's so like, Come to me now. Oh, oh, come to me. No, gracias. gracias. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun to learn different languages. Yeah. I'm so proud of Cazadores to see them again and to them have a refined team. We talked about the Refiner's Fire a couple days ago. You know, they went through the Refiner's Fire in Season 1. They performed well in the qualifiers. They had a tough road in the group stage, but now they're looking very, very dominant. Very dominant. Definitely so. And uh, just glad to have them back because... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Somewhere in my heart, Casadores belong here in the <laughs> WGLNA. So really glad yeah. to have them. And the they represent those Latinos, man. Yeah. And they, a lot of people, a lot of people play this game all over the world. One of the most popular games in the world. And definitely the Latin people play this game. Uh, Rukil, I'm going to have you start off with closing thoughts for the night and closing thoughts for the week, really. Uh, closing thoughts, I thought Casadores were fantastic. They just were amazing throughout this whole qualifier. Uh, huge congratulations to them on their win. K uh, Kufo represents probably one of the strongest scouts right now in the WGLNA, and I hope he can continue to represent a, a style of play that I really, truly respect. Uh, I hope Cazadores can actually really perform so well this season and possibly kind of morph the meta. I'd, I'd love morph to see the meta. morph the meta with some very strong scout play because we see so little of that. We see so much heavy medium play, yeah. little, just almost no light tank play, and maybe even Artie uh, in a soon-to-be patch which uh, a little Q&A revealed to us today, we might see a rebalance of tiers four through about six, mm -hmm. which would make me very happy. The mighty Morphin Meta Hunters will be the Cazadores, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that would be their tagline. Go, go, Cazadores! Oh, da, 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 da. We'll get them suits and everything if they make it to the finals. All yeah. right, Greed Torp, your final thoughts. Uh, no, thanks, everybody, for obviously tuning in. Thank you for competing as well to the competitors, I'm sure. A lot of teams will be registering for the second qualifier. I'm looking forward, of course, Refuse to Die, Pub Stars. These guys are definitely some of the guys that I'm looking forward to. Also, Simple Source Rex. Can't forget you guys. But yeah. looking forward to the second qualifiers. I'll be here casting alongside with Clutch, Root Kill, and, of course, Bitter Dam. They'll be here as well. That's right. Huge thank you to everyone that participated. Also to our sponsors, Kingston HyperX, excuse me, Kingston HyperX, Logitech, Azo monitors, which are now available on Amazon.com, and Alienware. Always, of course, this game is free to play. It's why it's so popular. It's also an excellent game. Make sure to go to wargaming.net or worldoftanks.com for more information. Also, if you'd like to sign up, go to wglna.com for information about qualifier number two. The sign-up will be happening this upcoming week. And then afterwards, qualifier number two will start on Wednesday, I believe, or uh, was it Thursday is the first broadcast? Uh, I'm not sure exactly, yeah, but well, I know in two weeks it'll be yeah, starting. Yeah, in two so. weeks it'll be starting up. The more information will be at WGLNA.com. Also, follow us on Twitter, at WGLNA, and also Facebook. 
facebook.com slash WGLNA. If you have any questions, ask us on Twitter, Clutch08, Greetorp, and Rukil. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Again, congratulations to Cazadores. We'll see them in Season 2. Good night and good game.